I want to talk about today uh, EDI compliance. So a lot of people are like, oh, are you EDI compliant? Are you, do you have EDI compliancy? Listen, so to be, in order to be EDI compliant, that means that you're meeting the minimum standards of whatever your EDI trading partner is requiring you to do. So if your trading partner requires you to handle 940, 945s, which, you know, they're shipping documents, you in their eyes, if your system can do that, you're EDI compliant because you can meet the format that they're at, the format of the documents that they're asking you to meet. That makes you EDI compliant in their mind. EDI compliancy will grow as your trading partners grow because each trading partner is not going to have the same standards for the most part as every other trading partner. They may require the same documents, but those formats of that document are different. And that goes across different standards. So that's ANSI X12, VIX, Tradecoms, um, you name it, it's across those different standards. It's really just meaning that your system that you have in place is able to meet the standards that they set forth of exchanging EDI. That can be where you using a web portal, an on-prem EDI solution, a cloud-based EDI solution, whatever it may be, the compliancy is built into meeting what the trading partner is requiring. If you're outside of those EDI compliances and you're not meeting the guidelines and the things that that trading partner is asking for, now you're non-compliant. So if you're non-compliant, that basically means you can get a chargeback because you're giving them extra work to do to process orders or process invoices or process shipments or whatever you're looking to do with that particular trading partner. They're going to say to you, listen, since we're having to do more effort and you're not compliant, we're going to pass costs along to you. And let's be real, they're going to add on to those costs. So it may only cost them, uh, you know, $100 in, in uh, person hours to get those things done. Um, but they're going to send you a bill for 500. It's a slap on the wrist. It's to let you know, listen, you need to become compliant. You need to fit into the mold so that we can exchange documents and it's done electronically and it's less effort by us. That's what the EDI trading partner is stating. If you have any questions on how to become EDI compliant, give a call. We'll just need to know what you have and what the trading partner is asking of you. And we'll go from there.